What's going on guys, it's Hazard Stray here, and welcome to another episode of our FIFA 17 Swansea City Career Mode. Now I say thank you for everyone that was able to watch our last Career Mode video two days ago. It was greatly appreciated, thank you very much. And if anyone was able to watch my World to Glory episode yesterday, we posted yesterday of World to Glory. And if you want to, you can check it out if you haven't watched it. Now, as we as we are jumping into our first match of this today's episode, we come coming up against Norwich City in the I think is I believe the FA Cup, uh yeah FA Cup title, and I am struggling a lot playing professional. I haven't played career mode or against the computer in a while, and I need to get used to playing the computer because. And one of the games in this episode, I cannot get past our defense. I mean, their defense was extremely hard to get past. But I'm not going to tell you the score of the uh, of the game. And as we were talking about that, we did end up winning this game 1-0 versus Norwich. I know we're playing an a bad team in the second division and we're not winning oh we just won the game only 1-0 it's it does get me upset a little bit that I can't beat Norwich on professional because I remember when I was playing with my other careers in like few 14 15 and 16 I could win most of those games on professional I think I actually went up to world class I never went to legendary yet but I went up to world class and I was doing very well but I, I'm assuming that this is a new FIFA, and the mechanics are different. It's harder to get past the defenders. Now with there wasn't really any transfers this week, or I mean today. I mean there was no transfer today. But one of the transfers that we talked about in other videos actually is is Fundo. I, I think it's confirmed. I'm pretty sure it's confirmed. Patrice Evra has gone to Marseille. We talked about this in, the in uh, previous episodes, like I've said. He's gone to Marseille. And you don't know if this is actually a good move or a bad move. Because the League 1 or League 1 uh, isn't as competitive as the Serie A. But it could all obviously depend on his taste. Does he want to play in a competitive league in this, or stay in the Calcio A? Or go into a weaker league? Because he is getting pretty, he's getting up there in age. I think he's around like 32 or 33. He's getting up there in age. So probably it was a good decision for him to go to Marseille. Or he could have went to the BPL. And yes, I know. The BPL is a harder division than League One. He could have went back to Manchester United and retired there if he wanted to. But he ended up going to League One. Now, there was a plethora of games on today. All of them I didn't see, because I had to go somewhere. All of them I didn't see. And I'm going to say one off by one. So, the first game that, unfortunately, I didn't see was Senegal versus Cameroon. Now, the, the final score was 0-0. Zero, zero. So... If it's being 0-0 in, in a tournament, in the AFCON tournament, they went to penalties. And if you didn't know, guess who you think won in the penalties? I'll give you a few seconds. So, the winner of the penalty shootout was Cameroon. Cameroon won on penalties 5-4. So basically meaning that out of the five for each country on Senegal, someone missed their penalty or it got saved. Cameroon converted all their penalties. Senegal converted four and one got saved slash blocked. That could be a like, big heartbreak for Senegal. They've been so good throughout this whole tournament. They've been amazing during this tournament. But unfortunately, they came up against Cameroon, who are... I'm not going to... 
they are a better like nation as in, like soccer nation. Now I'm not I'm not talking about the real nation. I'm talking about football soccer nation. Cameroon, they've proven that they're a good club. Okay, why I said club, good nation because they've been to the the World Cup pretty often. And you could see that they could have they could have won that game. If I didn't watch it, so I don't really have that much to really to say about it. But if you watch the game, do you think the game was deserved for it to go to Cameroon's way, or you think it was undeserved and should have went to Senegal's way? Tell me in the comment section down below what do you think. If you watch the game, or if you just watch the highlights and you're basing off of that, what do you, who think should have won the game? Now, as we are on the talk of Senegal. And yes, I have been talking about this club a lot in the recent videos. My friend is upset that I'm talking about them in his recent videos. And he know, and the people, or the person that's watching it, he knows I'm talking to him. He's probably happy about this. And since I was talking about the Cameroon versus Senegal, Senegal game. And one player from Senegal had been amazing for their, his club. And after... And since he's left and went to the went to the AFCON tournament, their club has been playing pretty bad or awful, whatever you want to say, what they've been. And the club, you probably could have guessed it, is the club that we're playing against on your screen right now, Liverpool. Liverpool played Wolver Wolverine Hampton Wolf. Wolver Wolverine Hampton Wanderers. I'm I probably butcher that awful. Let me see if I can say this again. Wolf Wolf Hampton Wolf Hampton Wanderers. I believe I said that pretty good. I probably said it awful. If you know to say it properly, can you please let me know in the comment section below? So yes, I'm just gonna say I'm calling the Wolves right now. <laughs> Wolves beat Liverpool. 2-1 Liverpool lost to Wolves 2-1 This is basically showing how much of a rut they're in right now if they're losing to Liverpool, uh, to Wolves as well I believe they've been on like a five game losing streak at the moment I think in all competitions They've been pretty bad recently And this goes to, to show that Liverpool really need money if they don't have Mane, they don't do that well. Mane is like one of their key components in their team. Because really without him, it's shown in the recent games they've had. They've been awful. They're not getting into a groove. Mane is that type of player that if you give him the ball, first of all, he's fast. He and he is strong. He might not might not be that tall, but if you try to body him off, you're for sure that he is going to body you back. He's not going to go down easy like Coutinho. Liverpool fans, don't be getting upset that step about Coutinho. Coutinho is a really good player, but he's not strong like Mane is. But back to Mane. He's like their chance creator because without Mane, I'm not going to say the wingers are awful, but they're not as good without Mane. Now, since Senegal is out, Liverpool get back Mane. And I'm not happy at the same time because I was hoping that Senegal went farther, which means that Chelsea gets to play Liverpool. In the rut they're in right now, without Mane as well. But we'll take we'll take the challenge. We can we can we can win that game. They're just Liverpool. They're in a bad rut, so hopefully they can carry on to us, and we get a taste of the the Liverpool badness that they are right now. Now, it might seem that I'm hating on Liverpool, but they're just in a bad rut right now. They're just not winning games. Like with Chelsea last season, we did, we did awful, and everyone was talking about us. Now we're doing good, and now we're, we're, everyone's praising us. 
it, we're just going to have to deal with it. Because I had to deal with it throughout the whole season last year. <clears throat> Excuse me. Throughout the whole season last year, when we did awful, and we were the defending champs, and we are doing nothing. Coming 10th. That's awful for defending champions. So, Liverpool fans, keep your head up. You guys will still... Actually, I don't know. You guys could, you know, fall out of fourth place. And Klopp could get sacked. But I don't think so. He's been, he's, he still is a really good coach. Now let's, not, not let's get to ahead of ourselves. Now there is a, there were other games on today. How does Christian Eriksen miss that? Arsenal played Southampton and Arsenal won 5-0. That's a lot of goals. And Southampton are in the BPL. I don't remember if they're still in the Europa League or not. But that's a lot of goals when you think about it. And this kind of brings up the question I've kind of been talking about. And the point that I'm talking about is... It's not really a, a point. But it kind of shows which team is better. Arsenal played Southampton today and won 5-0. Earlier on the week, Liverpool played Southampton and Liverpool lost to Southampton. So what does that really say about Liverpool and Arsenal? Does it really say that Liverpool or I mean Arsenal are better than Liverpool? Cuz to me it kind of it kind of seems that way. And both of these games, I'm pretty sure they're in just in like cups, so they weren't BPL um, matches. So, what do you guys really think about that? Does this show that Arsenal are better than Liverpool, or it's just that they're in the cup and they're not really playing their best players? I didn't see the team sheets. I probably should look that up soon, <laughs> but I didn't see the team sheets. So I don't know if they start of um, if Arsenal start the best team and if Liverpool start their best team versus South, uh, Southampton a few days ago. So tell me in the comment section what you got what you guys believe in which. Now before the video is coming to a close, Spurs played Y Kopi, I believe that's the name, and Y Kopi were up two nil. I don't I don't know what made they but they were up two nil. And the game ended 4-3 to Tottenham Spurs. It does show that Tottenham, they should have won that game in the first place. And they did. And it shows how good Tottenham could be and they can come back. And Chelsea played today the better team than Tottenham. Even though we lost, but no one cares about that. We're still in first place. You know, whatever. <laughs> Tottenham, um, Chelsea played earlier and we won 4-0 to Brentford. Nothing much to be surprised about. Now, right here, the video is about to come to a close. And my recording, I messed up when I was doing this. So, you guys won't be able to see the last three. But I did do them. And I, I remember that Pickford do, did go up to a 79. I am sorry. And we'll move on. Now let's say thank you for watching. If you could like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in a bit. Peace!